Hello, how are you guys today? I get way too many emails of people asking me how to take the glandulars, how to do this, how to do that, and a fair share of people taking way too much adrenal and having really bad reactions. So I'm gonna show you guys how I do my glandular smoothie once or twice a week usually and uh, ease any concerns. Now, the reason anyone would compel themselves to even eat raw animal organs is because they have bioactive hormones. So with our modern world, with all the negatives, all that stuff, most people will benefit greatly and see immediate results from taking these, especially like reproductive organs like lamb testicles for testosterone. But there are a few nuances. So we're taking three glands today, lamb testicles for testosterone, Thyroid, we got the thyroid hormones, adrenals. We're gonna try to get the steroid hormones, not the uh, stress adrenaline hormones. The main thing to keep in mind is the size of the human organs. Now, I've researched these and I know how much human organs weigh by the gram, so that's what I'm basing these amounts off of. Testicles aren't much of an issue if you overdo them once or twice. You know, you won't get too much of a reaction, but the most I have personally is half of a testicle and when I do this I usually like to keep this part of the testicle on there and I'll just cut a little bit of the rest of it off. Basically you don't want to exceed half the weight of the human organ at any point in time. This is a little more but as I said the testicle is an exception. So for the thyroid we only need one of these. Now this is a cow's thyroid gland. You know, imagine how much smaller yours is. So, you know, the amount that we want of this, we can cut into this. You know, we don't necessarily want the fat tissue. We're gonna take just a tiny amount. That's how much of the thyroid we're taking. Adrenals also, very tiny in cows, even tinier in humans. See, this one was from a slightly larger cow or a much larger cow, and this one was from a smaller cow. So on this adrenal, you have the adrenal cortex, the outside, and you have the adrenal medulla, the inside of the adrenal. The outside, the adrenal cortex, produces the steroid hormones and some other hormones, and the inside, the medulla, produces the stress hormones, epinephrine, norepinephrine. So let me see if... That's illustrated here when we cut this in half. Anatomically, you know, there's not much of a color difference on this adrenal, but you can still kind of see it. You can still see the outside of the adrenal gland is a bit darker than the inside here. So what you want to try to do is we want the outside. We don't really want the inside. So we could just take a kind of a sliver of the edge. That would be ideal. Now these look like very tiny amounts, but compared to the size of our actual adrenal glands, this is actually pretty significant. So you can start with this pretty safely and then maybe graduate but at no point are you going to exceed like double or triple the amount of these adrenal and thyroid. You know, this is a very safe and excellent amount to have on a daily or you know, bi-weekly basis, however frequently. And then maybe you can have a little more depending on your body size, but you know, we're never talking about having a whole adrenal gland or a whole thyroid gland because cows are such larger animals, you know, so much larger animals that it doesn't really make sense. So we're going to throw this in a blender, so I need, just need to chop this up a little bit. So we have our blender bottle, thyroid in there, adrenal in there, and testicle. So in our blender, we're putting just a tiny bit of water. You know, the more water you put in here, the more you're going to have to swallow down. So keep that in mind. You want to keep it minimal, but you still need enough water to, uh, you know, get everything well blended. Now just keep in mind oxidation. So we don't really want to puree this and blend it a long time, no more than 10 seconds. All right, so that was about four seconds, which isn't really gonna impact the quality of the proteins or the hormones or the fats. Now, if I was a man of lesser constitution, 
I don't think I would have done this in the first place, but I'm not stupid. So we're, we're going to use a strategy to swallow this down without having to taste goat and weird glandular, you know, it, look, it's not that bad. You know, it's not that bad. If I still had a pair of balls, I would suck this down in front of you guys. But the taste isn't that enjoyable. So we're going to hold our nose. You guys have seen me do this before. And then we're going to swallow it down, take some masticum, swish it around in our mouth, do that again. And then when we release our nose, we will not taste anything we just had. So... Okay, so just to reiterate that, swallow it down. You wipe your lips with a towel to remove the, the raw organ slop from your lips. And then you take uh, maybe a quarter teaspoon of mastic two to three times and swish it around your mouth. If I use a little more mastic there, it, it would have removed it even better, but I basically don't taste anything. This isn't that bad from like a flavor or a textural perspective, but combined it's bad. The texture is like sloppy, chunky, raw organs. That combined with the taste is pretty off-putting, but um, you know, if this was like completely pureed or if it didn't taste like anything, it'd be fine, but I, I like doing it that way. Now, yeah, it's a lot easier to take like a powder supplement. Unfortunately, there's a lot of shady stuff going on in like the freeze dried glandular market. I've purchased powder to test that I wanted to sell you guys. And after testing the adrenal powder or whatever steroid hormone powder, even things like pituitary gland, I didn't notice any reaction whatsoever versus eating the raw gland or, or properly freeze dried powder, you get a noticeable reaction. So if people are having you know, tiny amounts of frozen adrenal glands from my store and getting crazy beneficial reactions, or if they take too much, uh, they're a little out of it. Um, the powder should give you the same result. So if you guys are taking a powder supplement and you're not feeling the difference immediately the whole day, it might be a bunk powder. Again, I, I've purchased from many different suppliers, I've tested, and a lot of them don't work. And that's because the way they process the glands, sometimes they have to defatten them and they're heated at a higher temperature. So um, the processing of the gland in some cases remove the steroid hormone. So you gotta be careful. And uh, that's why we have the, the frozen glandulars on Frankie's free range meat because it is the safest bet. Maybe we'll get some stuff on organ supplements uh, as soon as I can find some powders that I test that give me some pretty good results. So Frankie's free range meat.com if you guys wanna try this stuff out. Uh, I might get some blood work in, uh, in a week or two to show the, the real effectiveness of this. Yeah, you can do this for everything. You know, we got the veal brains on there. We have a few other organs like thymus and prostate and all that stuff. Uh, so this combined with the other aspects of, you know, how clean is your diet? Are you living an active lifestyle? Are you getting fresh air? Are you grounding? It's just a helpful component. You know, especially like I have liver damage, so my hormones aren't where they're supposed to be. You can have all types of organ dysfunction. So, you know, until we can really get to that point of optimal health, which takes at a minimum years for most people, until you feel really, really good and excellent without supplements, then this is something that really helps. And especially as you get older, this is something that you should be doing anyway. So, you know, a perfectly healthy person from like ages one to 30, I mean, even primitive tribes and indigenous people still used to feed these foods to those people. So it's almost entirely beneficial. And, you know, since it's a natural food, the body can't really exceed any crazy dose. 
So thank you guys for joining. Hopefully this clarifies some things on the size and the amount. You know, our body's organs are much smaller than cow organs, so you should not be eating an entire cow organ at once. Hmm? I am jealous, though. You know, lamb and goat have such huge testicles compared to humans, dude. It's, you know, it's like a uh, bait. <laughs> This is a dumb joke, guys. Anyway, frankdashafon.com. You guys will see all of my interesting businesses, including Frankie's Strange Meat, where you can get this stuff. And we still have a few other things, like vitamins and, and random stuff on organ supplements. Uh, the Mastic. Mastic is the main thing that's available on organ supplements. The Mastic gum we use to rinse the flavor out of our mouth. But if you guys can drop a like on the video, leave a comment down below. Make sure to subscribe and check that notification bell. And I'll see you guys soon.